Hello, it's Dr. Dan. Today I'm gonna to teach you how to get PDFs into OneNote for Windows 10. Work on them while you're in there and things aren't moving around and then get them out in an efficient way um, so that you can turn them in for assignments, whatever else you need them for. Let's get to these tips. So here we go. The first thing that we're gonna do is we are going to insert a printout, okay? So go to the Insert tab, click on Printout, and click on a file here. I'm gonna insert a homework PDF and there we go, like magic. Just insert, this is actually like a four page homework file. Now, a couple of things that I'm not a huge fan of. One is if you just left it like this and you went over here to print, top right corner, clicked on print, and you take a look, your first page is just that little icon, right? And then subsequent pages are going to be the actual pages themselves. Also notice there's a huge margin over here on the left. These are the kind of things that I'd like to fix. And so we're gonna, we're gonna do a couple things to fix those items. The icon here, fundamentally this icon is actually a backlink to the file. And so I could actually double click on this and I'd end up back at the PDF that I started with. Okay, so that's, that's why that link is there, so you can go backwards. So it's a great thing for notes. For tuning in assignments, yeah, it's your choice. So if you wanna keep that link, that's fine. Just move it out of the way. Move it over here, say somewhere on your page, just where it's not gonna be in the way of other things. Then we can actually take out some of this space, go over to the draw tab, click on this tool right here, which inserts or removes extra space. And we can delete out that extra bit of space, bringing our page all the way up. Okay, next, I'm not a huge fan when I'm turning in assignments of leaving the, the dates on there. Of course, if you're taking notes, those things work well. If you double click on those dates and either hit backspace or delete, they'll go away. Okay, so you can delete those right out. The last thing I talked about was that left hand margin. And so now you can grab a hold of the page you want to and drag it over to the left. And it basically reduces some of that left hand margin. Instead of leaving like the extra margin plus the margin that was left on the original page, it gets rid of that. Now we could do that on the other pages as well. I'll just do it for these top two pages here. So we drag this one over. All right. So Next, the thing I wanted to mention is that as you're working along on this PDF, there's a chance that you're going to end up moving the image that's been created from that PDF, right? With this little plus sign right here showing that you can move this thing around. If you don't want it to move, right click or if you're on a tablet, uh, long click and set that picture as a background. It then will freeze. You cannot grab it anymore and move it around. Now you can move the whole page around, but you can't move that image around. Okay, so then you can come in here and write on your uh, PDF. You can zoom in, you can zoom out. My name's Dan. Um, I've got an ID number. Yes, I do. Right, and you can just work away on this. Now, one last thing I wanted to mention is when you go to actually create the printout uh, when you're all done. So we're gonna go to print. Um, now, ideally, we should have the same number of pages that we started with, right? So, I mean, the same number of pages that we had in our PDF, right? So here's a four page um, system. And if I scroll down to the next page, this is my next page, um, you can see that this page is shifted over there. Right? This is one of the ones that I didn't actually move my PDF and so I've got a little bit larger margin. One thing I did want to show you is that OneNote actually defaults to um, the page width. And so if you have problems with one of your PDF pages bleeding onto another printout page, my trick is always just to put a little mark over here to the right, okay? And so if I put a little mark over here to the right, what it's gonna do is it's gonna set to that width, and you can see that little mark show up right over here. Now, if I kept moving those marks further and further out, right, if I put one, say, way out here, you go far enough, you can actually end up with two pages um, on your printout. I didn't get quite that far. I could go a little bit further if I wanted to, get out here. Oh, need to go a little bit further yet. Go, 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 go. Okay, so there you can show that like, if you keep putting marks over to the right or writing or whatever else, you can actually end up kind of zooming out as you go. And effectively, if you want a narrower, you know, uh, if you want to kind of zoom in, you want to make sure you have narrower um, writing. Okay, so I just wanted to kind of point those out. Um, but again, it's going to default to whatever the image and or writing is on your page for the width. Um, settings and so now here we have a four page we could um, again just create this into a straight into a PDF 
Uh, one thing you will note that if you try to do actual size, things get a little stranger. It just depends on how big the PDF came in. And so typically this fit to page is going to be the best tool. Now you could also, if you wanted to print out an entire section, an entire notebook, I would think that it's probably more useful if you're thinking about page or you know, class notes or something like that. Um, but we're just going to stick with um, the overall page. So I hope that was super useful in helping you to better edit a PDF file after you dump it into OneNote for Windows 10 and have an awesome day.